Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Morning, sir. Morning, oh, morning. morning sir. Morning, sir. So, this morning, I'm in Sintang. So I I will be in Sintang to promote my university. So we start at 7.30. Uh, at 6.30, yeah. So are the presenters in? Are the presenters in? So this morning, we... We have two groups, yeah? Chapter 10. Can you hear my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, are the presenters in? Are all of the presenters in? Who? Yes, sir. Who? The person, the, the first, the first chapter, the first session. Will no, my group, sir. Ania. Ania. And, and the second? The second group? Who? My group, sir. The name? Refilia. Yeah? Refilia. Oh, Refilia. Okay. So before we start our lecture, so it is all, you must uh, delete the opening comment. Please, from Adelia, please. Adelia, okay. are you in? Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone, sir. Uh, the reason I joined this class today because I learned more about human resource management. And today, uh, this today is my group presentation. Thank you. The, the, the student must turn on the video, yeah, so I can see, look at your face. This button on the video. Okay, all of you must turn on the video. It is Zoom today, not audio meeting, okay? Please turn on the video. Can you hear my voice? Okay, turn on your video. Adi Pangisto? Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone, and good morning, sir. Your Let's video. you your video. again. Video, video. You must, you must work yes, work. sir. I have turned on my video. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So glad to see you again today, and good luck for the present today, for the group the presentation, and that all. Thank you. Okay. Agi. Hello, Agi. Agi, are you in Agi? Andrea, Andrea. Yes, sir. Yeah, please, Andrea. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. The reason today I joined the class because I want to see my friend presentation and I want to learn more about HRM. Good luck for the presentation. Thank you. Asa Wahyudi. Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Nice to meet you all again today. And I hope to deliver run well. And good luck for the presenters today. Thank you. Okay. Arya, Raditya Damayanti. Nampak jati, Arya. Hello Arya, are you in? No, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Yes sir. Ya, please Carlos. The good morning sir and everyone. The reason that I joined the lecture today is because I want to know more about human resource management by watching my friend's presentation. Good luck, good luck on their their presentation. Thank you. Okay, kita ready of hari. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I I hope the presentation will be run well, and our group is the one of the group will be present. Good luck for our team and other presenter. Thank you. Eka, what do you have, please? Eka, okay, Cristobal. Hello, guys. Hello, my name is Cristobal Tanutapino. Yeah. So you can call me Crystal or when I learn my friend person. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello, Hello sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh the reason why I joined the class today is because I want to uh see the presentation by my friend and I hope that I can be active today and ask questions and maybe answer some questions given by the presentation. 
you. Dewi Wirnardi. Oke, Daviana. Good morning everyone. Uh, yeah. I attend this class this morning because I want to learn more about the material and good luck for the presenter today. Oke, okay. Elisa Febianti. Elisa Febianti. Are you in? Pandi? Okay. Um, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Melinda Sita, and, and today I'm going to give a presentation. So good luck for everyone. Thank you. Okay, Francisco. No, not in. Francisco. Irfani. Hello. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so today I want to get a new things uh, from my friends. I want to get insight from my friends and good luck to the presenters today presentation and thank you. Okay, Jennifer? Jennifer? Okay. Julia Sekoy? Jennifer? Jennifer? Are you in? Good morning, sir. Okay, good morning, sir and my friends. So the reason why I attend this class today because I want to learn more about human resource police. Okay, good luck for all my friends to presentation. Thank you, sir. Julia Goyopi. Me are Julia Goyopi, sir. Okay. Kevin, Kevin. Hello, sir. Yeah, please, Kevin. Okay, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the reason I joined today's class was because I wanted to listen to presentations and material from my friends and get new knowledge. Okay. Thank you, sir. Muhammad Karaji. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. And everyone, I attended this class because I want to share the presentation with my friends. Nekoma, Amanda. Nekoma. Hello, Nekoma. Are you in? Nitan. Nita Dewi Sapitri? No. Norma Lasari? Norma Lasari? Are you in, Norma Lasari? Norma Pista? Norma Pista Aditya? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, the reason why I attend this class today because I want to learn about the material and good luck for the, for the group will present. Okay, Good morning, Good morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, Teresa, why this class today? Because I want to learn more about the topic that will be presented by my friend. Um, good luck for my Thank you. Okay, Putri Hermania. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. And we will The reason why I attend this class because I want to learn more about the human resource management and good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Repilia Tensa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The reason why I joined this today is because I want to gain more knowledge and also I present today, so I hope I can present best material for everyone. Oke, okay, Niko Bang Amanda. Niko Bang Amanda. Halo. Halo, Niko Bang. I'm going to study because I want to learn more about the presentation. Thank you. Ya Sandora. Ya Sandora, please. Good morning, friends. Uh, so okay. this morning I attend this class because I want to learn more, learn more about developing HR strategies, also about HR policies, and good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Oke, okay. Rosmila Deva. Halo, sir. Ya. Yeah. Terjadi attend this class 
this morning because I want to more about RM and listen to from my friend. Thank you. Okay, so, Ophelia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, sir and everyone. So today I join this class to uh, learn a new material today about HRM. Good luck for the presenters. Thank you. Okay, Sharon. Good morning, sir and everyone. Good today I join this class is because I want to presentation today. Good luck for all the presenters. Thank you. Okay, Sylvia. Sylvia, do we are ready? Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I am in this class because I want to learn about human research management and luck for the presenters today. Okay, Stacia. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, all. The reason why I joined this class is because I want to get now new knowledge about HRM and good luck for the presenters today. Okay. Welcome. Sarip Nabil Agul, good. That's a good. No. Tasya? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, the reason why I joined today because I will learning about human resource and look my friend presentation. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Good morning, sir. Good luck for those who will have presentation today and that we all can get a new insight about HRM today. Thank you. Okay. yet? Good morning, everyone. I attend this lecture because I want to learn more about human resource management, uh, especially for today's topic that will be dealt with by the presenters. Thank you. Why are you, Adika? Good morning. Good morning. I hope today going as usual so I can learn how to learn more. Thank you. Okay. Will I Garcia? Good morning, everyone. My name is Vila Shola Gracia. The reason why I attend this class is because I want to learn about the new topic and see my point presentation. Good luck for the presenters. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yudi Pedawati. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Yudi Pedawati. So the reason I joined this class is because I want to learn more about HRM and get a new information about HRM and good luck for my friend can who can for presentation today. Thank you. Rinda. Rinda. Okay. No. Okay. So please uh, turn on your video. I I don't see, look at your face here. So we will present the first. Uh, Adi ya. Our grandson. Adi. Yes. Adi lihat op Adi. Uh, the host to Adelia. Oh, Adelia is the host. Yeah? Mm. I will make you a, a host, Adelia. Yeah? Okay, Adelia, it's time to present your topic. Please share screen your PowerPoint and the other listen mm -hmm. and the active please. Okay, please do. Adelia? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, can you see my screen right now? Everyone can see my screen. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so um good morning everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, Today, um, uh, today material is about developing and implementing hair strategies that will oh, presented by me. My name is Fanny Deswi Pangreni, then Adelia Putri Adiko, and Sharon. So let me start. Uh, first slide, Adelia. Okay. okay. So, strategic 
hey, HRM. Strategy HRM is about getting things done than thinking about them. It leads to the formulation of HR strategies that first define what an organization intends to do and under the ten defined goals in overall human resource management, policy, and particular areas of HR process and practice. And secondly, set out how they will be if how they will be implemented. <clears throat> Next. Proposition about the development process. The following proposition is about the formulation of HR strategies have been drawn up by the Boxall on 193 from the literature. The strategy formation process is complex and excessively rationalistic models that advocate for holistic linkage between strategic planning and HR planning are not particularly helped to our understanding of it. Yes. Um, <clears throat> business strategy may be an important influence on HR strategy, but it is not only one of several factors. Uh, implicit, if not explicit, in the mix of factors that influence the shape of HR state, uh, I'm sorry, the shape of HR strategies is a set of historical compromise and trade-offs from stakeholders. A further consideration is that effective implementation of HR strategies depends on the improvement, commitment, and cooperation of line manager and staff generally. And next, levels of strategic decision making. The formulation of HR strategies is conceived as a process which is closely aligned to the formulation of business strategies. HR strategies can influence as well as be influenced by business strategy. In reality, however, HR strategies are more likely to flow from business strategies, which will be dominated by product or market and financial consideration. Okay, next. Uh, distinction is made by Purcell and uh, <coughs> 1989 between upstream, uh, it's a first order decision which are concerned with the long term direction or the enterprise or the scope its activities. Next, the downstream, second order decision which are concerned with internal operation procedures and how the firm is organized to achieve its goals. And the last is downstream for third order decision which are concerned with choice on human resource structures and approach are strategic in the sense that establish the basic parameters of employee relation management in the firm. Um, the next slide will be presented by Sharon. Strategic options and choices. The process of developing HR strategies involves generating strategic HRM option and then making appropriate strategic choices. The process of developing HR strategies involves the adoption of a contingent approach in generating strategic HRM options and then make appropriate strategic choices. There is seldom if ever the right way forward. Next. Approaches to HR strategy development. The, strat the starting point of HR strategy development is the alignment of HR strategy to business strategy and the organizational culture, the assessment of practical integration. Aligning HR strategy. A fundamental requirement in developing HR strategy is that it should be aligned to business strategy or practical integration and should fit the organizational culture. Everything else follows from the process of alignment. Next. In culture fit, HR strategies need to be congruent with the existing culture of the organization or designed to produce cultural change in specific directions. This will be a necessary factor in the formulation stage, but could be a vital factor when it comes to implementation. In effect, 
if what is proposed in the line with the way we do things around here, then it will be more readily accepted. However, in the more likely event that it changes, the way we do things around here, then careful attention has to be given to the real problems that may occur in the process of trying to aim the new initiate in the organizations. In the best fit approach, emphasize the importance of ensuring that HR strategies are appropriate to the circumstances of the organizations, including its culture, operational process, and external environment. HR strategies have to take account of the particular needs of both the organizational and its people. But there are also problems with the best fit approach as said by Purcell 1999. Meanwhile, the search of contingency or, or matching model of HRM is also limited by the impossibility of modeling at the, all the contingent variables. The difficulty of showing the interconnections and the way in which changes in one variable have an impact on others. Next. The configurational approach in bundling as research and Thompson 1999, comment a strategy success turn on combining vertical or external fit and horizontal, horizontal or internal fit. They conclude that a firm with bundles of HR practice should be a higher level of performance, provided it also achieve high level of fit with competitive. This is the process of horizontal ingredients ingratation, which is also referred to as uh, adaptation, adoption of a configurational mode, or the use of complementaries, who explain the concept of bundling as follows. Implicit in the notion of a bundle is the idea that practice within bundles are inter interrelated and internally consistent that is more better with respect to the impact of performance because of the overlapping and mutually reinforcing effect or multiple practices. Next. There are some methodology, methodology for strategy development. A, method, a methodology for the HR strategies was developed by Dyer and Holder in 1998 as follows. First, assess feasibility from an HR point of view. Feasibility depends on where and whether the numbers and types of key people required to make the proposal succeed can be obtained on a time basis and a reasonable cost, and whether the behavior, behavioral expect assumed by the strategy are realistic. The second is determine the serialty. Examine the implication of strategy in terms of sacrosan HR policies. A strategy of rapid retrenchment which would have to be called into question by a company with a full employment policy. The third is determine goals. These indicate the main issues to be worked on and, the, and they derive primarily from the content of the business strategy. For example, a strategy would be a lower cost producer, will require the re reduction of labor costs. This in turn translate, translates into two types of HR goals higher performance standards, and reduce headcounts. The fourth is decide, mean to, decide means of saving goals. The general rule is that the closer the external and internal fit, the better is the strategy consistent with the need to adapt flexibly 
to change. External fit refers to the degree of consistent between HR goals on the one hand and the exigence of the underlying business strategy and relevant environment condition on the other. Internal fit measure the extent to HR means follow from the HR goals and other relevant environment conditions, as well as the degree of coherence or synergy among the various HR means. Next. And next presentation will be present by my friend Adelia. Okay, uh, conducting a strategic review. A strategic review systematically assesses strategy requirements in the light of an analysis of present and future business and people needs. And uh, these are a stage of strategic review. One, analysis. Analysis uh, is, for example, like what is the business strategy and the business needs uh, emerging for uh, from it, and what are the cultural and environmental factor we need to take into account. Uh, the second is diagnosis. For example, like why do the human resource weaknesses and issues exist, and then what is the cause of any gaps. The third one is conclusion and recommendation. For example, like what are what are our conclusion from the analysis and diagnosis, and what do we need to do, do to do fill the gap and action action planning. For example, what action do we need to take to implement the proposal, and then what problem might we meet and how we will we overcome them uh, for five is resource planning. For example, what resources we will need, uh, for example, money, people, or time, and how will we, how will we obtain these resource? And the last one is cost, ben cost and benefit. For example, what are the costs and the benefit to the organization of implementing this proposal? And how do, they benefit individual employee. Set, setting out the strategy. Uh, strategy review can provide of the basic for setting out the strategy. There is no stand, a standard model for doing this, but the following headings are typical one basis. Business needs in terms of the key and element of the business strategy and to anal analyze of business and environmental factor for example as SWOT and the third is cultural factor possibly help or hindrance hindrances to implementation number two is co content the, the content is a detail of the proposed human resource strategy the third one is rational the business case for the strategy against the background of business needs and environmental or cultural factor. The fourth is Im implementation plan. Implementation plan, uh, there are action program, responsibility for each stage, resources required. Uh, four is proposed agreement, for example, for a communication, consultation, informant, and training. And then five is project management ar arrangement. Cost and benefit analyze. An assessment of research and implication of the plan, for example, cost people and facilities and the benefit that will occur for organization as a whole, for line manager and for individual employee. So far as possible, these benefits should be quantified in valid added terms. Implementing human research strategies. Getting human research strategy into action is not easy, even if they have been developed by means of systematic review and set out within, the, within a clear framework. The term strategic human resource management has been developed in some quarters, sometimes to mean no more than a few generalized ideas 
about human resource policies at other time to describe a short-term plan, for example, to increase the retention rate of graduate. As a not a great by Grayton, uh, factor ed identified had contributed to create the gap R. One, the tendency of employee in the first organization only to accept initiate, initiative they pre perceive to be relevant to their own areas. Two, the, the tendency of long serving employees to sling to the status quo. And the last one is complex or ambiguous initiative may not to be understood by employee or will be per perceived differently by them, especially in large deserved organization. Barriers to impl implementation human, human resource strategies. Each of factor listened by Grayton can create barriers to successful implementation of, of human resource strategies. Other major barriers include fa failure to understand the strategic needs of business. In a adequate assessment of environmental and cultural factor that affect the content of the strategies and development of ill-conceived and irrelevant initiative, possibly uh, because they are current fat, uh, fats or because there has been poorly digested analysis of best practice that does not fit organ does not fit the organization requirements. Overcoming the barriers. Uh, one is prepare uh, action plans. Two project manage implementation, and the last one is follow up and evaluate progress so that the remedial action can be taken as necessary. That's all from our presentation. Thank you for paying attention. And then next, uh, is there any question for our group? Hello, Adelia. <clears throat> Hello, Tiffany. I have a question. My question is, what is the standard level of setting up the strategy. All right. Thank you for uh, the question. Uh, next, who will ask the question? Anyone? Hello, Adelia. I want to ask. Uh, yes, please. So the question is, how do we make choice and option by using the human resource strategy? Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Julia, for the question. And the last one, who will ask? Uh, hello, Yaya. Hello, Desi. Uh, wait. Okay, so I have a question. Yes, Desi, please. Uh, how do we align the human resource uh, strategy? Uh, all right. Thank you for the question, Desi. Okay. 
so that's all for the question and then give us a minute for answer the question thank you All right, thank you. Thank you for waiting. Uh, and the first question uh, will be answered by Saren. So I will be answer the question from Tiffany. The question is, what is the standard model of setting out the strategy? So the answer is first basis, such as business need in terms of key elements of the business strategy, analysis of business and environment factors, what are pastel and cultural factor possible helps of or hydrants to implementation. The second is content details of the proposed HR strategy. The third is rationale, the business case for the strategy against the background of business needs and environment factors. The fourth is implementation plan, such as action program, responsibility for its stage, resource required, proposed arrangement for communication and consultation involvement and writing, and project management arrangement. And the last is cost of benefit and the resource implication of the plan, or cost people and facilities and the benefit that will accrue for, for the organizational organization as a whole for line managers and for individual employees. So far as possible, this benefit should be quantified in the in the value added terms. 
that's the question and that's the answer thank you for the question uh, the second question will be answered um, so hello Jesse. i'm going to answer your question which is how do we align the human strategies um, uh, we can start doing fundamental requirement in developing HR strategies that it should be aligned to do the business strategies or vertical integration and should fit the organizational culture. Everything, uh, everything else flows from this process of alignment. And there is also integration in business strategies like making intention concerning growth, seeing focus on increasing and also need the top. And the last one, question for question from Julia will be answered by me. How do we make choice and option by using the human resource strategy? The answer is the choice that practice the choice of practices that an employee pursues is heavily contingent on a number of factors that at the organizational level, including their own business and production strategy, support of human resource policies, and cooperative laborious relation. Choice, the choice should relate to, but also are anticipate the critical needs of the business. They should be founded of detailed analysis and study, not just wishful thinking, and should incorporate of experience and collective judgment of top management about organization, organizational requirements while also taking into account the needs of line manager and employees generally. Um, yeah, so that's it. We already answered all of the questions. And now we open the question for our participants. So for everyone who's going to answer the question, you just can strike answer the question. Thank you. For the question number one, who will answer? May I try to answer? All right. Okay. Is Nervatista Anantina Di Amaro? So, what is strategy HRM? Uh, strategy HRM is organization intended in order to attain defined goals in overall human research management policy and in particular areas of HR process and practice and set out how they will be implemented. So that's all. All right, thank you, Mr. Uh, that uh, The answer is correct. And then phone number two, who will answer? May I answer this question? Yes, Nurmaja. So um, there is three key business issues that may impact on HR. The first is tension concerning growth or retrenchment, acquisition, mergers, divestment, diversification, product or market development. The second is proposal on increasing input competitive advantage through innovation, leading to product or service differ differentiation and the third is 
the field need to development develop a more positive performance oriented culture and any other culture management imperatives i think that's all um, my uh, answer thank you thank you maria that's right <laughs> Um, for the great question, if there's any volunteer who want to answer. Hello, may I try to answer the third question? Yes, answer this question. Uh, is an unusual comment on the research in the non companies that the different approaches to strategic formation reflect different ways to manage change and different ways uh, to bring the people part of the business into line with business goals. That's all, thank you. Um, okay, thank you for answering the question. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you for your attention and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, you finish. So return the host to me. Yes, sir. I'll already. Okay, uh, so we have together what uh, the first group, of, uh, first group, yeah, our other group to talk about uh, strategic HRM. So, right, what is strategic HRM? So, you are your first stop answer, and this group has explained something about this. So, the word, the, there's the difference between the word strategic and strategy, so right? Yeah, so strategy is adjective, and strategy is noun. So how to set out the strategy. So when you are the manager in the company and you want to set out the strategy, so what what uh, what must you what must you do first? Yeah. So you must uh, you must set uh, you must set the vision and mission, right? And then you must do the sort analysis, yeah. And then you must do pastel analysis. So you must look at the environment. Yeah, you must look at the environment. Yeah. Do you know pastel? Pastel, yeah, pastel politic, economic, social. Technology, legal and ecology environment, so that is special. So to win, to win the competition, so the, the company must be able to must uh, do a sort analysis and no pastel. Yeah, pastel can influence the business performance. Yeah, and then so how how to make how, how to make your people strategic? So, right? so what does the what does the word strategic mean? The word strategic means can be profitable. So that so that it can mean that people can contribute to your goals, right? to, yeah, to the performance, the performance right? but when you want to make your people strategic or profitable, so you must, you must, uh, you must know your, uh, your people wants and needs, right? what your people wants and needs. So when, when you have known what your people wants and need and you meet them and their needs or wants, so I'm very sure your, your people will work for you, sir. Right? So they will work well for you, yeah. So, and they will contribute to, to, uh, to your goals, right? And they will, so their their heart, their, their work, and their ability will improve their business performance. So it's the first. So you must know uh, how to meet your people, how to meet your people needs or what's very important because people is the the, the internal uh, customer, yeah. And your external your external customer is the the consumer, the end user, right? So when you want to meet the the end sub, the external customer, so you must meet your internal customer first. Yeah? So you must you must look at your people, you must pay attention to people, you must develop your people, right? Increase their skill, improve their skills, yeah. And then you must cost them. So and you must what and you must you must know what they need and want. So you your people will be happy. So when your people are happy, so they will work for you. Yeah, this the so you will have the strategic human management. It's very important, yeah. So, so when you have, when you work in the HR departments, of course, you you want your people to be strategic to your to your companies, right? 
you want your people work well, yeah, work happily, so they can contribute to your business performance. Yeah. So when your, your when your company has good business performance, has uh, got, has got have uh, your company has got a lot of profit, so you, so you know the stakeholder, so the shareholders will be happy to so right? and you will also yeah, and then you must also give reward to the people who can get the best performance. Okay, and yeah, do you understand? Any patient? Okay, so this group is, is, is good, yeah. And so and this group can involve six students, yeah, six students to, to discuss. So there are six students. So the first, the first Tiffany, Julia, Guyopi, this Eka, and they yes, ask the question to the person to this group, and this group can also explain very well to the to the question and respond very well to the question, so that given by the audience, and the audience also can give give good response, yeah, to the uh, to the question given by the presenters. So Nur Prastista, Nur Maria Sari, and Salsabila. So uh, that's good, yeah. So. And I hope that I hope the other audience must be active, yeah. Yeah, don't only good be students spectators, yeah. So the speaker, the audience who, who never speak here, speak please, don't be afraid, yeah. So mistake is mistake is taken granted. So we are we are learning together here, so that so don't be afraid to make mistake in learning. So if, when you want to be smart, yeah, you must have the correct mistake in your study, so that, yeah, very important. Okay, the, the next presenter is Lepilia, yeah. Repilia, who will be the host, Repilia? Catherine, sir. Yeah? Catherine Yovani. Tiffany, yeah? Catherine Yovani. The name? Catherine. Catherine, okay. Thanks, Catherine. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, sir. Yeah? Where's Catherine? I don't, I don't see Catherine here. Yeah. Hello, Catherine. Speak, please speak. So I can... Hello, sir. Yeah, raise your hand. Catherine, yeah? Yes, sir. Catherine. Catherine, Catherine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Catherine, yeah? I will make you the host, yeah? Okay, thank you, sir. Catherine, you're funny, yeah? Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, Catherine, it's your time. It is your it's time for you to request the topic, please. Ask your topic, please. There my screen. Oh, you can see you can yeah. see my screen. Yeah, we can see your screen. Let's just carry on your presentation. Okay, so good morning everyone. I today we are going to present about human resource management policies. Next. So our member is Catherine Yovani, and then there is me, Refila Teresa, and then we have Dewi Winarni. Next. So what human resources policies are? Human policies are continuing guidelines on the approach the organization intends to adopt in managing its people. They define the philosophies and values of the organization on how people should be treated and from this are derived by principles upon which managers are expected to act when dealing with HR majors. HR policies therefore serve as a reference points when employment practice are being developed and when decisions are made about are being made about people they help to define the way things are done around here hr policies should be distinguished from procedures a policy provides generalized gui guidance on the approach adopted by the organization and therefore its employees concerning various aspects of employment a procedure 
spells out precisely what action should be taken in line with the policy. Next. What have HR policies? HR are employment policies help to ensure that when dealing with matters concerning people, an approach in line with corporate values is adopted through the organization. They serve as the basis for enacting values. Comforting as false values in values in use, for example, in order to dismiss an employee in accordance with employment law requirements, among other considerations, it would normally be necessary to meet propositions within employment contracts and collective bargaining agreements. The establishment of an HR policy that sets out obligations, standard of behavior, and document disciplinary procedures is now the standard approach to meeting these obligations. They provide frameworks within which consistent decisions are made and promote equity in the way in which people are treated. Because they provide guidance on what managers should do in particular circumstances, they facil facilitate empowerment, devolution, and delegation. While they should fit the corporate culture, they can also help to shape it. Human are resources in developing in developing HR policies, there should be a clear and consistent statement of the organization's policies regarding all conditions of employment and procedures for their equal and fair implementation. In order to fulfill this objective, policies and procedures should be clear and specific, but provide enough flexibility to meet changing conditions and then comply with all appropriate laws and regulations and then consistent among one another and reflect on overall true and fair view approach to all employees. Next. No. Do policies need to be formalized? All organizations have HR policies. Some, however, exist implicitly as a philosophy of management and an attitude to employees that is expressed in the way in which HR issues are handled. For example, the introduction of new technology. The advantage of explicit policies in terms of consistency and understanding might appear to be obvious. But there are these advantages. Written policies can be inflexible, constrictive, platitudinous, or all three. To a degree, policies have often to be expressed in ab abstract terms, and the managers do not care for abstractions but they do prefer to know where they stand. People like structure and formalized HR policies can be provide the guidelines they need. Formalized HR policies can be used in induction, team leader and manage, management training to help participants understand the philosophies and value of the organization and how they expected to behave within the context. There are means for defining the employee relationship and the physical logical contract. Although written policies are important, their value is reduced if they are not backed up with, by a supportive culture. This particularly applies to work-life balance policies. Next. HR policies areas. HR policies can be expressed as overall statement of the values of the organizations. The main point that can be included in uh, overall policy statement and specify policies areas are set out uh, the, for the first one is overall policies. The overall policies define how organizations fulfill its social responsibilities for its employees and set, set out its attitudes toward them. It is an expression of its values or belief about how people should be treated. Peter and Waterman uh, 1982 wrote that if they were asked for one all-purpose bit of advice for management, one truth that they can they could distill from all their research on what what makes an organization excellent, it would be figure out your value system, decide what the organization stands for. From Zel Zelsnik, 1952, emphasize the key role of value orga in organization when he wrote. The formation of an institution is marked by the making fellow commit commitments, that is, choice which fix the assumptions of 
policy makers as the nature of enterprise, its distinctive aims, methods, and roles. The value expressed in an overall statement of HR policies may explicitly or implicitly refer to these following concepts. The first one is equity, treating employees fairly and just by adopting an even-handed approach. This includes protecting individuals for any unfair decisions made by their managers, providing equal opportunities for employment and promotion, and operating an equitable payment system. Then next one is consideration, taking account of individual circumstances when making decisions that affect the prospect security or self-respect of employees. And then organization learning is a belief in need to promote the learning and development of all members of the organization by providing the process and support required. Then we have performance through people, the importance attached by to developing a performance culture and to continuous improvement, the significance of performance management as a means of defining and agreeing mutual expectations, the provisions of fair feedback to people on how well they are performing. And then they we have work-life balance, striving to provide employment practice that enable people to balance their work and personal obligations. Then quality of working life, consciously and continually aiming to improve the quality of working life. This involves increasing the sense of satisfaction people obtain from their work by so far as possible, reducing monotony, increasing variety, autonomy, and responsibility, and avoiding placing people under too much stress. And then we have working condition, which is through providing healthy, safe, and so far as practicable, pleasant working condition. It may be difficult to express these policies in anything, but generalized terms, uh, but employees are increasingly having to recognize that they are subject to in external as well as internal pressure, which act as constraint on the extent to which they can disregard the higher standard of behavior towards the employees that are expecting for, of them. And then for the specific policies are going to continue by my friend Dewi. Okay. In specific policies, the specific policies should cover the following areas as described below. Equal opportunity, managing diversity, age and employment, promotion, work-life balance, employee, diplom employee development, reward, involvement, involvement and participant, participation, employee relation, new technology, health and safety, discipline, disciplines, Repensive, pregnancy, sexual harassment, bullying, substance abuse, smoking, AIDS, and emails. Equal opportunity. The equal opportunity. The equal opportunity would spell all the organizations and organizations to give equal opportunities to all, irrespective of sex race, creed, disability, or estimate marital status. The policies should also deal with the extent to which the organization want to take affirmative action to redress imbalance between number employed according to sex or race or to differences in the level of quali qualification and skill they have achieved. The, pol the policies could be set out as follows. First, we are an equal opportunity employer. This means that we do not permit direct or indirect discrimination against any employee. The grounds of race, nationality, sex, sexual orientation, disability, religion, marital status, or age. Two, Direct discrimination takes place when a person is treated less favorably than other are or would be treated in similar circumstances. Three, indirect discrimination takes place when, whether intentionally 
or not a condition is applied that adversely affect a considerable proportion of people of countries nationally, seek sexual orientation, religion, or marital status, just with disabilities or older employees. Four, the firm will ensure that equal opportunity principles are applied in all its human resource policies and in particular to the producer relating the, to the recruitment, training, development, and formation of its employees. Five, where appreci appreciate, appropriate, and where permissible under the relevant legis legislation and codes of practice. Employees of under respected groups will be given positive training and encouragement to achieve equal opportunity. Managing diversity. A policy on managing diversity recognizes that there are different differences among employees and the these differences, if properly managed, will enable work to, to be done more efficiently and effective, effectively. It does not focus exclusively on issues of discrimination, but instead concentrates on recognizing the difference between people. As Canadola and Fullerton 1994 express it, the concept of managing diversity is found on the premise, premise that harnessing that differences will create a productive environment in which everyone will feel valued, valued where their talents are fully utilized and in which organizational goals are met. Managing diversity is a concept that recognizes the benefit to be gained from differences. It differs from equal opportunity, which aims to legislate against discrimination, assume that people should be assimilated in the organizational organization and often release on affirmative action. A management of diversity police code acknowledge cultural and individual differences in the workplace. Two, state the organization values the different qualities people bring their job. Three, and place the need to eliminate bias in such areas as selection, formation, performance assessment, pay and learning opportunity. Four, focus attention on individual differences rather than group differences. Age and employment. The police can age and employment should take into account the following facts and listed by the CIPD. One, age is a poor re predictor of a job performance. Two, it is misleading to equate physical and mental ability with age. Three, more of the population are living active, healthy lives as they get older. WC should define the approach to organizational job to engaging, permission, and training older employees. It should emphasize, emphasize that the only criterion for selection of permission should be ability to the job. And the training of belief that the employee will benefit Benefit in irrespective of age. The police should also state the age recruitment should not be set on external or internal job advertisement. Promotion. A promotion policy could state the organization intention to promote from within wherever it is. This is appropriate as a means of satisfying its recruitment for high quality staff. The police could However, recognize that there will be associations when the organization present and future needs can only be met by recruitment from outside. The point will be made that a vigorous organization needs infusions of fresh blood from time to time if it is not stagnant.
In addition, the policy might state that employee bill will be encouraged to apply internally at site job and will not be held back from permission by their managers. However, relaxing the letter may be to push them. Work life balance. Work life balance policies define how the organization intends to allow employee greatest greater flexibility and their working pattern so that they can balance what they do at work with the responsibility and interest they have on site work. The policy will indicate how flexible work practice can be de developed on implemented. It will emphasize that the numbers of our, how our sport must not be treated as a criterion for assessing performance. It will set our grid on specific, specific arrangements that can be made, such as flexible hours, compressed working week, time working contract, working at home, special leave for parents and care, care break, and various kinds of child care. Employee, employee development. The employee development policies will express the organization commitment to the continuous development of the skill and abilities of employee, employees in order to maximize their contribution and to give them the opportunity and change. Their skills realize their potential, advance their careers, and increase their employability both within and outside the organization. Reward. The real policies call cover such as matter us, providing an equitable pay system, equal pay for work of equal value, paying for performance, competence, skills, or contribution, sharing in the success of the organization, or gain sharing of profit sharing, the relationship between levels of pay in the organization and market factors, rate. The provision of employees' benefit, including flexible benefit, if appropriate. The important attest to non to the non-financial rewards resulting from recognition, accomplishment, autonomy, and the opportunity developed. Involvement and participation. The involvement and involvement and participation. Employee force policy. So spell out the organization's belief in giving employees an opportunity to help say in matters that affect them. It should define the mechanism for employee voice, such as joint consultation and suggestion scans. Employee relation. The employee relation places will set out the organization of products to the right of employees to have their interests responded, responded to, many, to management right unions, step association, or some other four representative system. It will also cover the basis upon which the organization work with trade unions. For example, emplacing that this should be regarded as a partnership. New technology. A new technology policy statement called state that there will be consultation about the introduction of new technology and the step that will be taken by organization to minimize the risk of compulsory redundancy or adversely affect other terms and conditions of working arrangement. Health and safety. Health and safety policies cover how organization intends to provide healthy and safe place and system of work. See chapter, see chapter 55, 55. Disciplines. The disciplines, the disciplinary policies so that the employees have the right to know what they expect of them and what could happen if they infringe the organization's rules. It would also make the point that in handling disciplinary cases, the organization will that employees in accordance the principle of natural justice. Next will be present by my friends, Catherine. 
Okay, thank you, Dewi. Next is grievances. The policy of the, on grievances could state that employee have the right to raise their grievances with their manager to be accompanied by a representative if they so wish and to appeal to higher level if they feel that their grievances has not been so resolved satisfactorily. Redundancy. The redundancy policy could state that it is, it is the organization intention to use its best endeavors to avoid in, involuntary redundancy through its redeployment and retaining procedures. However, if redundancy is unavoidable, those affected will be given fair and equitable treatment, the maximum amount of warning and every help that can be provided by the organization to obtain suitable alternative work. The next is sexual harassment. The sexual harassment policy should state that first, sexual harassment will not be tolerated. Second, employees subjected to sexual harassment will be given advice, support, and counseling as required. Third, every attempt will be made to resolve the problem informally with the person complying against. Fourth, assistance will be given to the employee to complain formally if, if informal discussion fail. Fifth, a special process will be available for hearing complaints about sexual harassment. This will provide for employees to bring their complaint to someone of their own sex if they so wish. Six complaint will be handled sens sensitively and with due respect for the right of both the complaint and the accused. And the last sexual harassment is regarded as gross industrial misconduct and if proof, make the individual liable for instant dismissal. Less several penalties may be reserved for minor cases, but there will always be a warning that repetition will result in dismissal. Bullying. An anti-bullying policy will state that bullying will not be tolerated by the organization and that those who persist in bullying their staff will be subject to disciplinary action, which could be served in particularly bad cases. The policy will make it clear that individuals who are being bullied should have the right to discuss the problem with a manage management representative or a member of the HR function and to make a complaint. The policy should emphasize that if a complaint is received, it will be truly investigated. Substance abuse. A substance abuse policy could include assurance that employee identified as having substance abuse problem will be offered advice and help. Any reasonable absent from work necessary to, re to receive treatment will be granted under the organization sickness system provided that there is full cooperation from the employee. An opportunity will be given to the employee who discuss and discuss the matter once it has become evidence or suspected that work performance is being affected by substance related problems. The employee has the right to accompany by a friend or employee representative in any such discussion. Again, it will be recommended to which the employee can go for help if necessary. Employee right will be safeguarded during any reasonable period of treatment. Smoking. The smoking policy will define no smoking rules, including where, if at all, smoking is permitted. Eight. An AIDS policy could include the following points. The first, the risk of infection in most workplaces are negligible. Where did the occupation involve bold contact, as in hospital, doctors, garrisons, and laboratories, and special precaution advised by the Health and Safety Commission will be implemented. Employees who know that they are infected with AIDS will not be obligated to disclose the fact to the company, but if they do, the fact will remain completely conf confidential. There, is, there will be no discrimination against anyone with or at risk of acquiring AIDS. Employee infected by HIV or suffering from AIDS will be treated no differently from anyone else suffering a several illness. Emails. The policy on an email could 
state that the sending or downloading of offensive email is prohibited and that to sending or downloading such messages will be subject to normal disciplinary procedures. They may also prohibit any browsing or downloading of material not related to the business. Although this can be difficult to enforce, some companies have always believed that reasonable use of the telephone is acceptable and that policy may be extended to emails. If it is decided that employees' email should be mon monitored to check on excessive or unacceptable use, then this should be included in an email policy with, which will therefore be a part of the contractual agreements. A policy statement could be included the effect that the company reserves the rights to access and monitor all email message created, send, receive, or stored on the company system. Next is implementing HR policy. The M will be implement policy fairly and consistently. Line manager have a key role in doing this. As pointed by Purcell in 2003, there is a need for HR policies to be designed for and focused on frontline manager. It is, they will, will be largely responsible for a policy implementation. Members of HR can give guidance, but it is line manager who, were, who are on the spot and have to make decision about people. The role of HR is communicate and interpret policies convince line manager that they are necessary and provide training and support that will equip manager to implement them. As Purcell emphasized, it is line manager who bring HR policies to life. Conclusion. HR policies are the formal rules and guidelines that businesses put in place to hire, train, assess, and reward the member of their workforce. Having policies brightened is important, so that is clear to all what the policies are and that they are applied consistently and fairly across the organization. Moreover, when issues concerning employee rights and company policies come before federal and state courts, it is standard practice to assume that the company human resource policies, whether written or verbal, are a part of an employment contract between the employee and the company. Now we enter the question and answer section. Does anyone want to ask? I want to ask. Hello, can you mention your name? Hello, my name is Chikarani. And my question is why policies need to be formal? Okay, thank you, Chika, for the question. Okay. The question will be accommodated first. So, who next will uh, give a question? Uh, me, Chikete. Okay, Uni. Yes, okay. please. My name is Uni Fenawati, so I want to ask, what do you think about human resource management policies in Indonesia, and do you think the implementation uh, is appropriate or not? Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, I want to ask... Um, uh, uh, my name is Irfani, so I want to ask about... Uh, as you know that we have, uh, we, we already have a, a policies and I want to ask uh, why every organization have the HR policies and what is the urgency of HR policies that make every organization have must that. Thank you. Thank you, Irfan. Um, please wait a moment, we'll discuss the answer first.
Thank you, Chika, for the question uh, from Chika. Why policy need to be formalized? Formalized HR policy can be can provide the guidelines. Also, can be used in induction, team leader, and management training to help participants understand the philosophies and value of the, or the, the organization and how they are expected to behave within the context. They are means for defining the employee relationship and the physical legal contract. Also, why don't policies are important? Their value is reduced if they are not backed up by a supportive culture. This particularly applies to work-life balance policy. And then, uh, oh yeah, Irfani, is the answer acceptable? Okay, and then I will answer the question from Yuni. What do you think about human resource management policies in Indonesia and do you think the implementation is appropriate or not? So the practice of HR policies in Indonesia has indeed been running and developing quite well, but not all of them have good HR policies. Usually those who have a good policy, HR policies are big and well-known companies. Let's just make an example in Pontianak. It is quite difficult to find a company that practice HR policies properly. However, what uh, do uh, what do we know is that in large companies like one of them is Shopee, which already have satisfactory and appropriate HR policy implementation because they prioritize the achieving the common goal of the organization, but not with emphasis. And they also offer various types of workshops that are suitable and pleasing to the employees, which prove that the Shopee have HR policies that is appropriate and good. Is the answer acceptable, Uni? Okay, thank you, Ravi. Okay, you're welcome. Next, I will answer the question from Irfani. Why every organization have human resource policies? Why is the urgency of human resource policies that make every organization must have that? Because human resource, human resource policies help to ensure that when dealing with matters concerning people. An approach in line with corporate values is adopted throughout the organization. Every organization must have this because people are not easy to deal with. Because everyone is different and should become a team that can ensure to reach the organization for process. They need human resource policies. So the human resource policies also help to unite the people organization. Is it clear, Irpani? Uh, we provide three questions for the audience who want, want to answer. Uh, Kathleen? Yes, Vanessa? May I answer the question number one? Yes, please. Okay, my name is Vanessa Yen. I think the values are equity, consideration, organizational learning, performance through people, work-life balance, quality of working life, and working conditions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Vanessa, for the answer okay the answer is correct who want to answer the second or third question hello Kathleen. may i try answer question number two yes please uh, so my name is sabrina feya and i want to try to answer the question number two what the role of human resource in implementing policies um the role of human resource is to communicate and interpret the policies 
convince line managers that they are necessary and provide training and support that will equip managers to implement them. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina, for the answer. The next one to answer the question number three. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Ria. Uh, may I answer the last question? Yes, please. Okay, so my name is Ria Sandara and I'm trying to answer the last question of this group. So what are the functions of HR policies? Uh, referred to your presentation before, there are two functions of uh, HR policies. First, uh, HR policies help to ensure that when dealing with matters uh, con <clears throat> concerning people, an approach in line with corporate values is adopted throughout the organization. And then the second, uh, HR policies provide guidance on what managers should do in particular circum circumstances. So at the same time, they facilitate em uh, empowerment, uh, the evaluation and delegation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ria. Thank you all of you for answering the question. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you for the attention. Okay, uh, good, good. Yeah, so we have what uh, together what this group presentation is about the immunization policy. Yeah, so what is strategy and what is policy is different term. Yeah. So strategy refers to the way how to get the goals, and policy is the guidance. Yeah. So the work the people must be given guidance how to do the work. Right. So if the people are not at work are not given the guidance to do the work, how to do the work, so they will be confused how to do the work. Right. And the specific people is input the how to do the equal opportunity. Right. And how to how to how to manage diversity among the people. Right. And then the aid and employment. How many how. What is the age of the pension, right? So how uh, how long must the people work in the company, right? So in the in the for the uh, public servants, so the the people uh, work until the uh, until the age of the 50, 58, so sure? at the fifty eight, yeah. So the people in, in the office must retire, so right? It's the age and employment, so so the company must be. Must get set the, the policies in this, and then also the and then the police the promotion how to do promotion how to do demotion so that and to do mutation and then work balance work like balance so the, the work must the work must be balanced yeah so you must work, you must work you can work hard but you must also yeah you must also have a good time for your uh, relaxation so that and then employee development yeah the people must be developed and you must also Set us the guidance how how the people do the uh, must do the development right? the rule you must give the rule to the people yeah how to develop the people and reward yeah you must also yeah, yeah set the rule how to do how to give reward to the people yeah and the, the reward must be fair yeah you know, must be fair and that involvement and participation is very important so you must involve the people yeah you must involve your people ask them to participate in every situation right? So the people will give you contribution to your goal, and then new technology. So yeah, you, so you, all all the people in the company must adapt to the technology. Yeah, health and safety. Yeah, you must also have the rule, set up the rule, especially refer to the health and safety, discipline. Yeah, yeah, and then sexual harassment. So this is sexual harassment. Do you know sexual harassment? The sexual harassment is not on the. It's not only sexual intercourse. So, so when you touch, for example, a uh, um, boy, yeah. So a boy touch, a boy touch the woman is also uh, sexual harassment, yeah. Uh, a boy touch it is also sexual harassment. You you put your your girlfriend photos in your wallet is also sexual harassment. It's not it's not good, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, so in 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 general, so the, your you are good, and. Uh, the student who are active are CK, Uni, Ivani, Vanessa Yen, Sabrina Filia, and Ria Sandora. Yes, good. Yeah. So, so you you can uh, present uh, you can show the brief presentation, but detailed explanation. So that's good. Yeah. So so, so uh, brief PowerPoint. 
So in that sense, and then detail explanation is good. And then, uh, when will you have examination? When will you have examination? When will you have examination? Hello, can you can you hear me? When will you have examination? The when? midterm test, sir. Yes, that's right, midterm test. Um, maybe yeah. around uh, this, the end of this month. Okay, so we, we will we will we will meet as we still meet next week, yeah. The last presentation, yeah, yeah, before the midterm test. So the, the test the, the test will be in the form of the video record, yeah. I will give you the question, and you can look at the question on Google Classroom. And then you, I will maybe uh, three days from now, I will give you the question, and you must answer the question, and you must video record your answer by using uh, YouTube, yeah, YouTube recording or video record recording. And you must post the link in the Google Zoom on the group's area. Yeah? Okay, understand? So next, who, who, will, who will present next week? Who will present next week? Who will present next week? Hello? Who will present next week? No one? Can you hear me? Who will present next week? Which group? No answer? Hello? Hello, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Who present, who present next week? Which group? No group present next week. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why, 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 why don't you answer my question? Why? Who, who present next week? Who? The present next week? No. The if not if not answer, there's no present next week. Who? No. Nobody. Can you hear my voice? So you don't respond to my question. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think. Uh, the group who have uh, chapter eleven. Yeah, who? The name. I need the name. Eleven is the who? Chapter eleven. Who, who, who take the chapter eleven, please? Eleven. No? Nobody? Wow. Yeah? Who? Please? Yeah? Arsaya. And then? Agi. 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 Agi Mayara. Agi Mayara, Nikomang, and um, Elisa. Elisa. Okay, the next? Jennifer. Okay, okay so you must be next week. Okay, it is time for me to say goodbye. See you later next week. Uh, keep healthy and take rest. Yeah, yeah you must do 3M. Yeah, you must wash uh, was, 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 your mask, wash your hand, and Ya, yeah, keep this stand ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, thank you. See later. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.